Hey, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. Um, in this video, we are going to uh, translate this argument into symbolic form to evaluate whether the argument is valid and then further evaluate if it is sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the translation. Um, first of all, it said if then, right? If then, so we know premise one is going to be if something, then something. So we would say if P, then Q, this right here, uh, X is a positive number. Uh, that is being P and X plus one is greater than X is Q. So we have, um, oopsie, if P, then Q. Okay, so P, then Q. For our first promise, um, premise, um, number 14 is a positive real number. So being a real number is a statement, um, not Q, but P. Here goes my P and my Q. That is statement P. P, therefore, okay, therefore, 14 plus 1 is greater than 14. And this is Q. It is talking about this particular number, number 14. But as far as the idea go, it is um, a number plus one is greater than the number, right? So that would be Q. Now this right here, if you recognize this uh, from your lesson as a uh, direct argument, and uh, we would say a direct argument is valid, right? But if we really don't recognize that, uh, we would say that we are going to have to build a truth table, right? So what truth table are we building for? So um, to really um, determine whether this is valid or not, we have to say premise one, which is P imply Q, and P leads to the conclusion Q. Um, when we do a truth table, we would say, is this going to be a tautology? Meaning, are the premises always le leading to that conclusion? So here we go. P, Q, P, then Q, and then P, then Q. and p and then lastly we would say the entire statement here p then q and p will these premises lead to the conclusion q okay so true 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 false false true false false if true then true the statement is true if true then false the statement is false if false to start with, the statement is true no matter what. And then now we would say if P then Q and P, so that would be an and statement. Um, so true and true is true. Um, false and true is false. And then true and false is false. And then true and false is false. Okay. And then we would go from here to here. Okay, the arrow goes that way. If true, then true, then the statement is true. If false, then it does not matter what goes over there. Your statement is always true. So this is a tautology so that the argument is valid. Just as we said, right, a direct argument is valid. So um, the question here, though, is asking, is it sound? Well, the sound argument is a valid argument. So first, we know that it's valid, okay? Now, we need to check to see if the premises are true. Okay, so is it true that if, a, if you have a real number, a positive real number, and you add one to it, it's going to be greater than itself? And the answer should be uh, yes, but logically, let me um, show you how that works. Here is x, right? It's a positive number, and here is 0. So x is somewhere right here. And then if you add 1 to it, that means you move to the right one unit. 
So of course, whatever this is, x plus 1 is going to be greater than x, right? So this, argue, this premise 1 is true. And then you would say, oh, look, um, the number 14. So where is 14? 14 is a number somewhere over here, let's say. Um, that is a positive number. And so that premise is true. So both premises are true and the argument is valid. Therefore, we say this argument is sound argument. Okay, and that is number 12.